Like Ani, I was injured in a car accident. Um, so it was something that I, you know, like kind of came out of nowhere and I didn't expect to happen and totally, totally changed my life. Um, and so I've been a member of the disability community for over 20 years and I'm very involved in the community. So I think I was able to bring, bring all that experience um, from my own experience as a person with a disability, but from the whole community that, that I'm a part of. Um, so I could kind of draw on all of those experiences and resources to um, play her as authentically as possible. My favorite part uh, is that she's very street tough, which I am not. Um, so she says it how it is. She's not shy to speak her mind. It gets her in trouble at times. But she, she's a fighter, she's a, she's a survivor, she's a hustler. So that stuff has been incredibly wonderful to, to dive into and see what the texture of that is like. Um, however, I think to, to add to that, I think that's also one of the challenges because there's a cost to that. There's a cost to being so tough. There's a cost to always living your life with a wall up and trying to push people out. And so finding where that vulnerability is, how she lets it out, that's also been, a, been the challenge for it. So it goes hand in hand. John has severe cerebral palsy. And I, my diagnosis is actually severe cerebral palsy. But over the last, um, the first like 17 years of my life, I had a lot of physical operations to enable me to get out of a wheelchair and walk and um, be as ambulatory as I am now without assistance. Uh, whereas John has very severe CP uh, and cannot get out of his wheelchair and needs the assistance of a caretaker. Um, I have never experienced sort of the severity in that way, but the challenges and struggles that I have had with cerebral palsy definitely um, clued me in to a lot of what John was going through. I just like his uh, unabashedness. You know, I like I like I like who he is. I like that he's always wanting to find a connection with someone. He's how does Martina describe him as? Uh, he would make a great uncle. So he's always telling stories. Always the life of the party maybe says things that are inappropriate sometimes, but he doesn't think about that. He just, he's a, he's a loudmouth, a bit like me. 